Chess Hacks Family PKs, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get images that we can then use those images in order to test our algorithm, most specifically the Tesseract algorithm. And that's what we will be doing today. I will be doing it in C today, but I will be doing it in Python in the next tutorial. If you want to follow along using C, uh, you are welcome to it. Uh, I, you don't have to be an, uh, a C++ expert, trust me, I am not one either. So I, can, I will walk you step by step and all you need to do is copy and paste and follow along and you'll sh you should be okay. Uh, but the one thing that you do need, you need to have uh, Tesseract working. So if you type this into your computer, you gotta make sure that the you have these two guys. You have to have a Leptonica and you have to have Tesseract. Okay, if you're not getting that when you type, don't worry about this, this is just specific to that. Uh, but you need to have these dependencies because nothing will work if you don't have this showing when you do that. So make sure you have this. Okay, also you need to have uh, Python to have at least any 2.7 doesn't have to be the same one that I have but I'm not doing Python I'm not using Python 3 and the open CV you need to have uh, open uh, at least 2.7 2.4 uh, not 2.7 sorry 2.4 uh, I'm not using three open CV 3.3.0 because most of this code will not work on it so I'm using 2.4, it's more stable. I have OpenCV3 on another computer. On this computer, I, I'm, I'm running 2.4. Uh, so 2.49, 1.3, it doesn't matter. But it, it will not work with OpenCV3.1. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let me just open here. You only need to have these two files for today. I will show you how to do this. Uh, this first file here, nano, where is your nano? Is this file here created here by this guy? And I will be including it in the in the description. Uh, we owe him credit for doing this for us. To he, he did the heavy lifting because what this file does, it creates images out of uh, after doing motion detecting and it works pretty good it can be you guys can apply it to many applications not only motion detecting that's why it's so good uh, and I will be including this in the where I got it from uh, and also the actual uh, file or you can follow along on my computer here and I will walk you through it the first thing you need to do here is including the time header. He's including some of the system because there will be some system calls. Also, he's using using namespace standard and CV IO stream include F stream. Okay, uh, all this is doing is CV, so he doesn't have to do be doing CV colon colon every time and also doesn't have to be using uh, you know uh, uh, CV out it's STD colon colon every time so all you know he's using namespaces to make his life easier so he doesn't have to type okay so it is going on there here he's creating the directories if uh, if they do not exist because you you have to if it exists, you have to do this dance here in order to create a directory. If not, it's going to give you an error. And uh, let me just make it right there. Uh, when motion is detected, he's creating this directory. If you're working with prop images, there's also a directory being created with prop images, which works pretty well. And for those times when you want, you don't want the whole image, you want the the uh, prop 
change, but this is what is going on here with the time format. It's creating the name of the image, saving using CDN I in right, and this is the image being saved. Nothing that probably you've never seen before. You probably like them. You have in some of my tutorials. Here is detecting the motion. This is the function here, and these are the parameters. And most of those, you know, uh, inline is just to optimize the code. Calculating the standard deviation to see if the if if the merits to be called a, a motion or not, because uh, w the way it works is just uh, changing the pixel value on that will create the com that will trigger the motion. Okay, so and I will get I will show you with actually using a flashlight is the easiest way. Uh, that way you don't have to be walking around. This here is creating a, a linear in x, y for the rectangular, what is being created, and I will explain that. Here is the main function where the path, the extension, I'm using PNGs, it's a lot better than JPEG for certain things, and a log file, this is the directory format date how it's gonna look like uh, the camera CV you know nothing that you haven't seen before that's just right out of this open CV how to take a capture video and here the height frame creating the mat the matrix container for all of them now transferring our RGB to gray and doing it back and forth creating other matrices here the matrix container detecting the motion and this is the standard deviation that we saw before I mean you can change these parameters you, uh, you can play with them. I kept the same ones, but you can definitely, depending on your application, you can you can change those parameters. And now here is the important part here, because it's calculating the differences to make sure. Here I, I created my own thing, because I want I was testing. You don't have to. This is I added this. And you can also create other stuff here. I'm gonna take this out so not to confuse you for now. Uh, you can make other system calls and uh, and, and take it a step further. But for now, let's just apply for for what we're doing here. And it's saving the images to that format. Let's say the images here, the crop ones that I talked to, and I will show you that directly. That's the vector uh, using compression because I'm using PNG, so I'm using the compression parameters here. This I added this, so I'm I'm responsible for this. If it's not done properly, blame me. Don't blame her. So I'm just using those for PNG compression. And I also I, I wanted to show something in the image, so I added that, so I actually see what's going on. Uh, because he had it si silently being recorded, I wanted to see actually his movements, so that's why I added that. And then everything here, don't worry about this here, it's making some batch calls, so let's erase it for now. That is it. Okay, so I'm, I will be including this in the description of this video, but uh, I, I, I did it slowly so you, you could copy if you wanted to follow along, just because you wanted to do it right away.
Okay, so we will run this code. Then let me show you. Let's close out of here and show you the make file. Because in the other tutorials, I show you how to do a make file because all you need is a little file here in the C++ package. Nothing complicated. This is just your uh, C preprocessor flags. You need to do those. Eclipse OpenCV. This is not an auto tools one. This is just a, a, a basic one. It's not the one that I did for auto tools base project. It was a lot more involved. This is just to get running. Okay. Changing the information, giving the method name executable and the uh, object file and then what file we're using actually wait let me see why am i using ext here if i open this this that was wrong so three okay and remove it at the end three okay uh like i said all you need is a, a g plus plus compiler and if you to make sure ubuntu you should have one already but just in case if you get that that means it's working if you get a command not found then that means you gotta get a compiler but you should have one already so let's all you need to do is make and the name of the executable all you need it's going to show the libraries if you see that that means you're good because you, it was linking the libraries so now it created that executable right there so once we run that executable i'm going to open this so you can see it being created going to see this stuff being added to this don't worry about that stuff there now that is there now i'll show you how to create that but for now we're just going to populate this folder with a bunch of images okay so i'm going to open this here you can see it being populated i'm going to run it so enter and now you don't see anything because there is no motion so i'm going to create some motion by the use of a flashlight and now you see the light and you see in the images being created you see the thresholded image you see light here and here you see the flashlight and you see the image and you see this is the gray now you see the color image. I'm going to shoot it again and you're going to see it more. You're going to see this cre being executing. That means motion is created. And if we look at this folder, you're going to see them that they're just being populated there. Okay? And you see more and more images being created. I'm going to stop it because the more images, the, the longer it takes. I'm going to stop it now. And if we see all of these images were created in that directory that I showed you, that the, the home, motion, picture, and the date, because it was using the format. Uh, if you got this far, we're good. In the next video, I'll show you what to do with these images, but I don't want to make this video too long. So let's stop it here. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, Please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.